Howdy from Austin, Texas. I'm Diane Duvery here at the 26th Annual South by Southwest Music Festival. Now this is a very special year because it is the first time that Greek bands will be showcased here. Hi, I'm Stereo Mike. I'm Vivian Panu with Earth Friendly Products. And I'm Helena Missy. And we are at South by Southwest. Okay, I'm George from Plastic Flowers. Hi, we're Emma Baldi from Greece. Uh, we're really excited to be here at South by Southwest. We really want to thank Earth Friendly Products for bringing us here. I'm Lisandros, this is Orestes, this is Rena, Alexis, Telios, Yanis, and Jeff. And we love you. Well, uh, we've missed our flight, we've, uh, we've, we've lost our baggage, uh, we've gone to America Apparel to buy a few clothes, but other than that, we're really prepared and really excited, and uh, we've, we've been playing a lot recently, so we're really, you know, in form, so it's gonna be a great show. During the past years, uh, there have been a lot of uh, you know Greek bands going outside Greece. It's mainly Europe, but uh, you know this year, and also in the States, uh, maybe not South by Southwest, but it's slowly started to happen. And uh, you know we're really proud to do this, and really, really, really happy. Our first album was basically based on samples on and on sampling like old Greek tunes. That's how we started and we still, we still use a lot of technology in everything we, we produce, basically. And it might sound Greek, but it's really there's really something there that you can connect with. Well, it feels really amazing. Um, I feel so grateful about it yesterday. Uh, I feel grateful for Earth Friendly Products bringing us here and to Criteria Entertainment for bringing us to South by Southwest. How and why did you come up with this idea to have a Greek music showcase at South by Southwest this year? Well, I had the pleasure of visiting Greece over the summer last year and I was surprised and amazed uh, very positively at the amount of music, modern music, electronic music that was coming out from young bands over there. And uh, even more surprised that the rest of the world didn't know about it. So when I checked back that South by Southwest, I noticed that there was a lot of uh, participating countries, but not Greece. And we decided or we started to put together this idea to see how we could bring them down for next year. It felt amazing because it's, it feels great to represent Greece in such an amazing uh, festival. I've been following this festival as a fan of electronic and alternative music all my life. It sometimes helps to have a sound engineering background, so I fixed a lot of the things while, while singing. Um, I ha we had to improvise a lot of things, but you know what? The important thing is people come to see you and you gotta get over all that stuff and just you know do it all from the soul and give a lot of good energy back to the people. We've been working on this for months. <laughs> so uh, we reproduced and re-edited most of the stuff, uh, tried to refresh the sound of some of the older tunes, that we wanted to play, which uh, are close to our hearts. We produce some new material. Uh, we mixed some of the songs from Helena's uh, album into, into my set list uh, yesterday. And uh, we also tweaked it so it was sort of Greek and English to the, to the best of our ability. <coughs> As a person of new media, as a person of art and the way arts have become very electronic, um, this is something I teach in my day job. I, I work at the University of Westminster. This is my, my day job that I love very much. Working with young uh, kids who are trying to do uh, music and film and all sort of new creative arts through this. So it just all locks up perfectly with South by Southwest because 
I'm here as a musician, as a, an educator, as an academic and as a fan of art. So uh, what a festival to play. Brilliant. <laughs> For those not familiar with your sound, what, how would you describe the type of music that you guys play? We play uh, dream pop with many electronic influences and, uh, you know, just try to blend our uh, love for music. It's an honor to be here. We started stalking the festival since 2010 and now we decided to fill the application and uh, wait. So they accepted us and it's nice to play here. It's, Austin is a great city. It's very important to have Greek artists here. I mean, uh, during the past few years, um, I think that there weren't any Greek names artists around here. So it shows, a, it shows that it's you know the Greek Greek music scene is now uh, here and trying to show the world that there are artists that have a great music. Do you believe that the crisis in Greece is strengthening or taking away from the arts and music scene? Um, I think that uh, the crisis helped a lot because most of the musicians are now trying harder to achieve their dreams. Uh, any crisis does bring out a lot of creativity. We've seen it throughout human history. Uh, but the negative aspects of that are the way uh, Greece is doing financially right now. It does mean that there's much less money, much less funding for alternative music and opportunities which are not in the mainstream focus. Uh, this is why uh, funding such as the one we receive from Air Friendly Products to make this possible is so important because it does give a chance to music that wouldn't have been necessarily in the mainstream to get a chance, to get a uh, voice. So I'd just like to urge companies who are into, uh, into arts, into music, to support kids with great ideas and not just go for the obvious stuff. It's such an honor to be a part of South by Southwest and to be able to bring such young talent to this wonderful industry uh, event. You and know, is there any way that the Greek music could become a big name, a big hit here in the United States? And I think really that that's up to us. You know, we know they've got great, mu great music. We know that they're superstars. And it's up to us to require that of our radio stations here. So that's our job to do, to make sure that they're successful. And that's what we love as Earth Friendly Products, to know that we could help make opportunities like that available to you. So we're thrilled to have you here. Will you try for another Greek sound event here next year? Of course. Hopefully we'll have um, Earth Friendly Products on board. And they've been very, very supportive of this initiative and many other people that will help us bring the Greek bands again to South by Southwest. Uh, I'd just also like to thank Rick Reporter for supporting us all along the way because uh, you gave us a great uh, spotlight in all these moments uh, from the very beginning of the project to now and we're really grateful. Thank you.